Hey everyone and welcome back to Planet Zoo and welcome to the Sun Bear Habitat. This is also the first video of the new Southeast Asia DLC which uh, just dropped and uh, you can see this video today in which I'm building the Sun Bear Habitat. Now this is something I have prepared already quite a few days before um, since this has been asked uh, by Frontier. They asked me to do a Sun Bear Habitat because they uh, will have been showcasing that one or will be showcasing this one uh, tonight on Twitch um, as a front page event and uh, Shante as one of her last streams um, as a employee of Frontier actually is going to showcase that one and yeah we were asked to do that unfortunately um, we did not have the early access uh, from the beginning and in fact um, as you know this is my first video as a dad so this video has been recorded prior to where you know everything happened um, and I do do the recording now a few days after I actually became dad so bear in mind <laughs> sorry for the pun, um, totally intended, that uh, this video first of all won't be as long. I'm not sure if I will make uh, cinematics at the end. I try to, but you know, as, as someone who has uh, just a couple of days experience as a dad, uh, things can happen quickly. And um, prior to this recording, actually, <laughs> we had like half an hour no internet and I have like a very short amount of time now to do it because uh, baby is now sleeping and it's actually a time now where it's fine to record and not go to bed and we actually had a little bit of sleep this night like we're talking two to three hours you know that, that's what a little bit means um, but yeah so um, in case to keep it somewhat short because this speed build is rather long um, let's give me some uh, let, let me just give you some uh, info about this habitat so this habitat is actually made 100% um, according to the AZA uh, requirements of a sun bear habitat now I actually went in and read through the text what they need what they have blah 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 and um, this one is actually about uh, 1.5 thousand square meters in total space as we all know in Planet Zoo that doesn't really count because um, you know rocks and stuff take away from the traversable area and hence it will be around 900 square meters at the very end of actual traversal area which is exactly the full requirement that Planet Zoo will have for the Sun Bears, as I remember correctly. We, we, could, we actually got a little Excel file in which we could see all of that stuff. By the way, this is um, some markers here uh, for the blueprint, so in case you guys are going to download the blueprint, and sorry, um, I'm, again, I'm not sure if I will be able to include that in the description. Uh, if I do remember, I will do. If I don't, well, I, I'm, I'm not even sure if the video is going to get out in time, because I had no... Like when I was, <laughs> I, okay, let me just quickly tell you the story. Sorry, today's recording will be a little bit messed up. Now, when I was building um, this thing, this was already quite a week ago, and then I did procrastinate the um, finalization and the recording of the video a little bit because I hoped that I can still get a little bit of the early access to actually have the animals in and do some fixes according to that. So obviously this habitat will unfortunately not be completely fixed um, in case there were any issues. I have no idea. I don't also have the enrichment items. Maybe you see them in the cinematics, maybe you don't. I also put some information boards for Shante in where she could put some of the enrichment items if possible. Um, so yeah, it's a little bit of a, you know, uh, weird thing because I actually hoped uh, since the um, uh, due date for the baby was actually planned a little bit later than uh, what it actually got to be, but it's totally fine, it was just in time, no big deal, no big drama, but um, yeah, last Wednesday when uh, the last day uh, of the old life happened uh, in the evening, I decided to go to bed early because, um, you know, my wife had birthday and I, I just thought, you know what, if, if possible, I'll do it tomorrow uh, afternoon or whatever and, you know, it wasn't possible <laughs> because baby decided to um, yeah join us that following night and um, hence there was not really that much uh, space left since then to do anything. So now I'm sitting here uh, on a wonderful Monday evening recording that for you, uh, hoping that this is going to be ever pushed out to you. I have no clue if that's going to work or not. Uh, depends a little bit on the little baby again. And just in, in case, um, I have prepared the 12-episode uh, series um, that is called uh, Bob's Pet Farm. Uh, it's going to be very fun. Uh, it's starting actually tomorrow and uh, will be every uh, Wednesday and every Saturday. So it's planned for the next six 
continuous weeks, so you do have a lot of content from me planned, so don't you worry about that. Um, I just did this in case um, I would not have the time because I had no idea what's going to happen. I'm very glad I did it because um, I think for the next couple of weeks you can actually expect me to not have that much uh, videos on the channel that are not pre prepared, um, simply because I don't see any chance to really do some stuff right now. I really have to first of all get into the groove. Um, maybe, maybe if we are a little bit more in the groove and we have some people helping us out over here, but you know, with the virus, that's another thing that doesn't really work. Um, so yeah, all in all, it's a little bit of a problematic thing. Um, but I think, you know, um, challenging new stuff uh, is, is something that we wanted and it's um, at the same time uh, the most beautiful thing that ever happened in my life. So it's easily um, to, well, it's easy to forget all the pain and all the uh, lack of sleep. I think you can actually hear that in the commentary today, so I'm really sorry if it's a bit messed up, but whatever. Now, um, yeah, I think uh, this is, is all I can say um, about the situation. Let's talk quickly about the Habitat. Now, I, I briefly said to you already that this is made um, by the AZA requirements. What I wanted to do is somewhat of a split habitat and the idea is um, a bit more in looking into how real zoos treat a habitat. You do have two separate sites and you do also have like a backstage area for the animals where no guests can see them. So the idea is um, what zoos quite often do for mating and stuff like that, they do have different pens in the same environment to make sure that, uh, you know, they can have some different animals together to maybe, you know, force the mating and stuff like that um, and sometimes you can't keep the same animals in the same pen all of the time so what you would do is you have one in the left hand side and one in the right hand side but if they get along you have the full habitat but what they can also do and this is what zoos pretty often do as I was taught um, they also do change the habitats every now and then so what that means is basically they can close off one side and do some refurbishments they can basically change colorings they can put new enrichment items in um, they can uh, change the plans they can make whatever you know they can just make it more challenging for the animals and so they would basically close off one side of the habitat at a time and then they change everything in there uh, for the animals and then they open it up again and then they might actually change the other side as well so that there's like an ongoing change of environment for the habitat um, and for the animals uh, to keep them excited to keep them um, you know exercised as well so that they can see some stuff and so on and so forth yeah here you can see this is one of the cooler elements over here one I did learn is that sun bears don't really swim but what they do do it seems is they take like they love to take a bath uh, to just cool down um, so I thought it would be a nice idea to give them like a little pool uh, which is slightly raised with a li like little water element a waterfall dribbling down in the actual pool which is more or less meant as a separation um, to, to just have something for the for the guests to really look into and uh, almost like a little underground viewing but it's not really an underground viewing it's like more likely to, to be named as a, uh, a water gallery or whatever you want to call that one but yeah and now one last thing we can talk about this will be another part uh, before I stop recording the voiceover um, what I also learned for sun bears in most um, temperate areas that they have these animals in um, they put heaters into logs and into um, for example stones so these things are mostly on display and uh, hence the animals would be more likely to lie down on sleep on these ones rather than on uh, the normal ones so what they actually do they basically fake um, the kind of little um, warms of your uh, little nesting so to say and then something I learned with the baby right now by the way put some heat in something and they are more likely to sleep in there it seems uh, cool stuff actually but yeah so um, this is what I did and now coming in with a few blueprints here of some rocks and stuff like that making this a bit of a modern habitat giving them uh, more areas to sleep a little bit of an incline here and there just making sure it's a bit more interesting um, and yeah that's pretty much it I really hope you guys enjoyed the voiceover so far I'll leave you alone with the second half of uh, the uh, speed build and then I really do hope that you will be seeing some cinematics at the end again I'm not sure but uh, we'll see and uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Please leave me down below what you think of the new uh, DLC. What's your favorite animal? What's your favorite uh, item? I don't want to say, you know, there's not too many items in. And uh, yeah, I really hope you guys are excited um, for Bob's Pet Farm. You would do me a big, big favor if you keep on watching that one, even though there are no new animals in. The build is actually quite nice and I put a lot of uh, heart and soul into that one uh, to bring this to you guys to have something prepared. Um, I really hope you appreciate and, and help this series to come alive. Uh, with your help, you know, um, that'd be great. But now enjoy the rest of today's video.